Welcome! This tutorial demonstrates the basic features of the UPathDB Result Analyzer. Although this example is given in AmoebaDB, this tool is available from any UPathDB site. Our analyses can be applied to the results of any search or strategy that returns genes. The analyses consider the annotations for the genes in your result and apply the Fisher's exact test to statistically determine if any annotation terms are enriched. Terms are considered enriched if they occur more often in the gene result than in the set of all genes for that organism. Let's run a search for signal peptide containing genes and then analyze the gene result for enriched gene ontology annotations. Choose Select All and click Get Answer. The search returned 12,417 genes. The analysis tools function best when the filter table is set to All Results. This banner announces new analysis tools. Access the Result Analyzer by clicking the blue Analyze Results button. An Analysis tab opens next to the Gene Result tabs. Use these two options to analyze the gene result for enriched GO ontology or metabolic pathway annotations. The word enrichment analyzes text terms in the gene product descriptions. Let's analyze our signal peptide containing genes for enriched gene ontology terms. The analysis tool opens and offers parameter choices. For statistical reasons, the analysis can only be run on a set of genes from one organism. If you are interested in more than one, run separate GO analyses. Let's run our analysis on E. histolytica HM3IMSS genes. Using the default settings for the remaining three parameters, we will analyze the signal peptide gene result for E. histolytica HM3IMSS and return biological process ontology terms from all available data sources with a p-value of 0.05 or less. The parameter window collapses and you may see a results pending message. The analysis returned 61 GO IDs that meet the parameter criteria. The result table contains information concerning each hit. Use the filter box, typing any portion of a GO ID or term, to remove items that do not contain that text. Clicking on a GO ID opens its associated inferred tree view on the Amigo 2 record page. This offers an image of the ID's position in the hierarchical ontology. Unlike your gene results, analysis results are not saved in your UPathDB profile. Download the results if you want to save the analysis. You have the option to name the analysis. The name appears in the tab and above the parameters. There are three ways to run more analyses on this gene result. To run the same type of analysis on the same tab using different parameter values, open the Parameter tab and select New. Let's analyze for enriched molecular function ontology terms. The results will appear in the same tab, so you may consider renaming it. This analysis returned 67 enriched molecular function ontology terms. Another way to rerun this GO analysis and create a new tab is to copy these parameter values. The new GO analysis tab that is created displays default parameters matching the previous analysis, but the tab name is appended with a number. And finally, to run a new analysis, possibly choosing a metabolic pathway or word enrichment, click the blue Analyze Results button. From this new analysis tab, you can choose to run any analysis tool. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please contact us with any questions or suggestions.